Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name is Liv and I love everything tech so if that's something you're interested in, please do consider hitting subscribe. Now today I have a very exciting video planned out for you. You guys ask me all the time what it is that I use to plan everything from coding projects to gym progress to content creation and today I'm going to be finally sharing that with you guys. Now I've been loving and using Notion for about three to four years now so I feel like I have finally got my template to a point where it is simple and easy to use but also it's really effective and it allows you to plan and track literally everything you could possibly want to. So today I'm going to run you guys through the template, I'm going to show you how I use it and also how you can customise it to fit your aesthetics and your needs. And lastly I would just like to thank Notion so much for sponsoring today's video. I honestly cannot think of a better brand to be partnering with here on YouTube because like I said I've been using and loving Notion for about three to four years now so I'm genuinely so excited to be partnering with them on today's video. But let's not keep you guys waiting any longer, let's get into the video. Okay, so when you first open up the template or when I first open up Notion, this is the first thing that I see. So this is my dashboard or the homepage of my Notion. So when you guys open it, you should be able to come up here in the right hand corner and see a little button that says duplicate. So when you press on that, it will basically just duplicate my whole template to your Notion and you'll be able to use it, edit it and play around with it. So this kind of contains everything that I want to be able to get to really quick. So for example, I have the time and date, the weather, and then this is really cool. I have like a little life progress bar. Which I'm going to show you guys at the end how to customize all of the widgets that I'm going to show you on these pages all of the Spotify playlists or anything like that. So don't worry, you will be able to customize all of this. Down here on the left, I have links to all of the individual pages that I'm gonna go through very soon. In the middle here, I have kind of a daily check-in. So this is where I come every single day and write down my tasks that I need to do for the day. I also have a weekly check-in as well. So you can see, for example, I just write down stuff in here that I know I need to do that week, but I'm not really sure when. Okay, my favorite part of my dashboard and something that you guys hear me bang on about all the time is how much I love time blocking. Every single day I time block my day. So I of course added in a little section here that will allow you to time block. And that's literally all I have and need on my dashboard. I do not need anything else. I feel like with a lot of Notion templates and even my old template, they just have so much unnecessary stuff that you don't end up using. And at the end of the day, it just makes you feel overwhelmed when you open Notion. So I've tried to keep this as aesthetic and simple as possible. So let's start off with the first page, which is the coding page. And this page can also be totally transformed into something that's more applicable to you. So if you don't code, but perhaps you're studying something for uni, you can also just change this up to fit whatever you need it to be. So this is where I keep track of everything that I'm learning, everything that I want to learn and all of the projects that I'm actually working on. So on the left, I've just added a little quote of the day because we all need a bit of motivation every now and then, don't we? Just below it, I have a habit tracker. So fill that in with some habits that you feel might be applicable to you. In the middle here, I have a little quick access tab, which basically just houses a lot of really useful links to me, links that I use either on a daily or weekly basis. On the right hand side, I have my little cozy coding sessions playlist. Then on the top right hand here, I have a little section for my personal project. So this is actually where I keep track of every single project that I'm working on. So I've deleted some of my projects here temporarily because a lot of what I do work on is confidential. However, you guys will get the idea. So you can click into these, you can have a separate page for all of your projects and you can literally just keep track of your projects in whatever way that you want. You can add code snippets, you can add little tick to-do lists, you can add tables. You can literally add anything you want in these pages. Coming down here, I also just have resources and videos. So this is where you can keep track of useful videos or any courses that you're working on at the moment. So if you wanna keep notes on particular courses that you're working on, you can also do that here. So you could just put notes down there. And then I've also added in a little bit here where you can keep track of useful code snippets. But yeah, that is an overview of the coding page. Again, really simple, but really effective. Okay, moving into my life page. This page is very simple because I don't need a lot on here. First of all, I just have a Monday through to the weekend to-do list, which is where I keep track of personal errands that I need to run. So I tend to keep this separate to my to-do list for work. Moving down, this is my holy grail. This is the thing in my life that has kept me consistently going to the gym. And that is my gym weekly plan and tracking table. So essentially every single Sunday I come in here and I basically just plan out 
all of my workouts for the week and even what time I'm going to be going to the gym. And I also have a little section where I keep track of my PBs just to make sure that I'm consistently improving. And then in the little right hand corner as well, I always write in my workout for the week. And I have actually put this on your template. So if you guys want to use my workouts as well, feel free to do that. Now I'm just going to move to the template for this page because we're about to head into the income and budget page. This part of my notion has changed my life. I used to be so scared of tracking my income, tracking my savings and everything like that. I would literally just put it off, but using Notion has almost like gamified it. <laughs> like it makes it really fun. So what this means is that, for example, when I first open this page, straight away, I'm looking at my savings and I'm looking at how close I am to get into my savings goal. So you guys can completely personalize this. So if we click into here, you can change it to whatever you want it to be. So if you wanted it to be house deposit, you can change the goal and then the total number that you've actually saved towards that goal. And it will just let you know how close you are. So if you're 64% there or 10% there, and it's just really motivating to see the number going up and see yourself actually getting closer to that goal. Okay, moving down, this might look a bit overwhelming, but it's not. So bear with and let me just explain it because it's not as scary as it looks. So first of all, down the bottom here, we have two tables called incoming and outgoings. At the end of every single month, I will come in and I will just basically write down all of my income for that month, exactly where the income came from. And then I'll do the exact same for outgoings. And these two tables will basically fill this top table in for you. And the thing I love about it is it will actually calculate how much money you've got left over. And I find this really useful to help me decide how much I wanna actually save for that month. And yeah, this has just honestly been a game changer for tracking all of my income and also actually meeting my savings goals. Like I had so many years where I had savings goals, but I really wasn't doing anything to actually meet those goals. But this has completely changed that for me. So yeah, I highly recommend giving this page a go. I want to show you guys the content creation page because I am just really excited to show you guys this page and I actually put up an Instagram story recently showing you something from this page and so many of you asked me what I'm actually using to schedule, plan and track all of my content. So on the left hand side I basically just have all of my links to all of my socials, so my YouTube, Instagram and all of that and then also helpful links, so YouTube Studio links which is like what I use as my link tree and then also Canva which I use to make a lot of like my YouTube thumbnails and stuff like that. Here I have a little calendar which, which is basically just an overview of all of the content that I want to produce and publish that month. It also helps me keep track of when I need to submit videos for brand approvals or when I need to make them live for brands. Now this is the part that I, until recently, haven't really used, but I've started using it recently and oh my god, it's just so good. Okay, so basically this is where I keep track of all, all of my ideas for any videos. So, so these are all of the videos that I am producing this month and I have a few tags here. So what platform I'm going to be posting it on, what kind of stage it's at, so if I filmed it, if I'm ready to film it and all of that good stuff. And then within each of these, they actually all open as a separate page, which is where I will either plan the script for the video, I will plan the concept of the video, so what I want the video to be about, what I want to show people in the video. And then when it comes to me actually filming the video, instead of just like setting my camera up and being like, what am I doing? I have a structure that I can follow, which makes filming so much nicer and also quicker, which is what I need because obviously I have a full time job. So that's an overview of my content creation page. And then lastly, we have two short pages. The first one is my note hub. I love using Notion for taking notes and it's really nice because you can kind of separate them up into subcategories, which I really like. And similar to what I showed you before, they all open up as their very own. So some of you would have seen this already, but yeah, this is an example of like how you can make your notes look. So you can insert screenshots, you can add to-do lists, you can add code snippets, you can even embed like websites and YouTube videos. So you can honestly make some really, really nice notes. In Notion. And then the last page in my Notion, which is the reading tab. So I am a scientific researcher, so I use this as a purpose of tracking 
scientific papers that I need to read. So basically every single time I find a, a paper or a book that I wanna read, I just come in here and I add the title and just write whether I've read it, whether I'm in the middle of reading it. I add links to it if I need to. And then I also have added like a little note section. So that is an overview of my whole Notion template. Now I just wanna spend a few minutes just showing you guys how you can actually customize. So you can just double click here and add your name in here, just like that. And you can do that with all of the text around Notion. Now, every single page has what's called a cover at the top. And to change any of those, you just hover over here and click on change cover. And then you can pick from any of the ones available in Notion or you can upload your own. Now, I haven't done this too much on the template because I didn't want to give you guys too much to actually have to go ahead and change. But if you click near any text blocks, click on these six dots and then come down to color, you can actually change the background and the actual text color if you wish as well. Now, sticking with the theme of customizing text, you can also come up into these three little dots up here and you can change the font of everything on your page. There's free fonts available, so there's not loads of different fonts available. But if you want more font options, I recommend going to this website called Lingo Jam and you can literally type any text in here and it will come up with loads of different fonts that you can copy and paste and then just insert into your Notion just like that. Now to replace any of these widgets that I've got on my dashboard, all you need to do is go to this website called Indify. And this is a website where you can actually build widgets for your Notion and completely customize all of the widgets to look exactly how you want to fit your time zone and everything like that. Once you're done creating it, you come down and you click on this little copy tab, come back into your Notion, click on these three little dots and then click on replace and then just copy your link in there and it's gonna change the widget for you. And it's the exact same with the Spotify playlist. Again, click on these three buttons and on replace, and then you can copy and paste the link to a playlist that you would want in there as well. And then I think the last thing to show you is that across my Notion, I also have these little moving icons. So to replace these, you just click on these and then it will allow you to either pick from some emojis or some icons, or you can add a custom link in here. So the place I get all of my icons from is giphy.com. So you can search for anything that you want in here. The key is that you want to click into stickers and not gif. This is going to give you a ton of different options that you can use. And then you can just hover there, copy the link, come back into your Notion, and then just copy it in there and it will change the icon for you. And that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you found this useful and would consider giving my template a go. I popped the link to the template and also Notion in the description box below. So make sure you go check it out. And just before you leave, don't forget to like, subscribe or comment. Any of the free will do. And I'll see you guys in my next video.